Hello and welcome. I'm Anthony Hudson. Tonight we're at the MCG. Alongside me for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Yes, thanks, Hutto. An absolute pleasure to be here for the big game tonight. Tonight, Hawthorne and Geelong. make their way to the middle for the toss. Geelong wins the toss. Both teams start today's game in the top eight. What an exciting matchup we have here today. And we're into it. Won the hit out. McAvoy has the ball. Slick with the hands. Hartley gets on the end of that handball. Dug it out. We'll have another ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Mitchell pushes his opponent off with one hand. Gets it away. The handball now from Hartley. Stanley with the hit. Great control there. Finding the ball was Delwood. Warple got hands to it. Kicks hurriedly. Hawkins picks up the loose ball. Uses it by foot. A great mark taken there. Jenkins takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. 40 metres from home. Almost directly in front here. He goes for growth. A drop pass. He acknowledges the crowd. The first goal of the day for Geelong. McAvoy won the tap. Did well to control the ball. Gunston wins the ball in the air. Move it on. A chance here to level the score. It's a big kick, and it goes straight through. That's his first. He's excited about that one. The Hawks sink their first. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. We resume hostilities. Slapped away. And now Wingard. A strong pack mark. Shields has resources out wide. Stewart with the mark. Searches for a teammate downfield. Goes with the kick. Easily takes the mark. Steven bangs it on the boot now. A race for the loose ball. Hurried kick. Two, he gets the loose ball. Frost contests the hard ball. A low stabbing kick. Couldn't snaffle it. Collected by Stewart. Releases the handball. Dangerfield throws the ball away. Kick by Scully. Simply outplayed his opponent. 45 metres out. Lining up from a 45 degree angle. 
Shields going for broke now. Hawthorne supporters delighted by that effort. His teammates rush over. That's two in a row for Hawthorne. Hawthorne kept the lead by a kick. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Back in the middle now. One down by McAvoy. Wingard turns a free kick. Slams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Tips it towards half forward. Does well to cut off the kick. Stephen uses it by foot. Puts it on the boot. Warple just gets it onto the boot. A chance to soccer it and kicks the goal. A second goal in the bag. He's excited about that one. Hawthorne have three in a row. Now they lead by 12. He did really well there and gets the reward. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Centre bounce. Tap down. Burgoyne finds possession. Smith flicks it over. Hartley receives the ball. Has it now. Scoops it up. Mops up the loose ball. Finding the loose ball was McAvoy. Duncan gets it out of congestion. Dangerfield takes it strongly. Drives it long. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Cuts the kick inboard. Spent that one before he earned it. Looks to move it by foot. The boundary line wins. McAvoy heading to the bench. The boundary up by will toss it back in. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Taken by Crawley. Gives a don't argue. Jenkins couldn't hang on to the ball. Burgoyne wins the foot race. Showing some really good pressure there. That doesn't look good. He must be injured. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. The ball spills to Jenkins. Dahlhouse there to mop up. Intercepted by Duncan. Jenkins will be the recipient of the free. Punches the kick. Marks that ball uncontested. Hawthorne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Dahlhouse uses his pace. Marks now and can send it back. Puts boot to ball. Sicily found some space and marked with quick hands. Wingard kicks hurriedly. O'Brien marks it. Looks up with a kick. Kept alive under pressure. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. Umpire tosses it in. Taps it down. Practicing some fancy moves. Got the hands free. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Hardwood is the body to take that mark. Looks with hands. Duncan just threw it. Gunston sets his sights on the goals. Might be too far out to score. Abler takes a strong mark. Uses it now. Nice work for Dangerfield. Hawthorne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward spot. The ball has been coming in way too slow. It looks like the ball will be coming back. Plenty to analyse from the first quarter, Gas. Hawthorne should be pleased with how they've started. If they can build on that quarter, they'll be hard to stop. Shields leading the ranking points on the ground. He is dominating this game. The second term ready to get underway. 
We're back in motion. McAvoy got a fist to it. Quickly onto the boot. Picks up the loose ball. The loose ball picked up. Steven throws the ball away. Hawthorne lead by 13. Henderson ready to bring it back into play. Moves the ball by foot. A mark by Stewart. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Cawthorn forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Intercepts the ball well. Hawthorne starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 20 to 6. Teammates break for him. Henderson plays on. Works it from the back half. Henry uses the body well. With a driving kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. O'Brien choosing to play on. He takes the mark. Here's a chance for Morrison. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Drop punt straight through the middle. Morrison couldn't be happier with that goal. Hawthorne doing well at the moment. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Thump by McAvoy. Being constricted in the tackle. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. A lot of possessions for him. A clean pickup. Drop punt sails between the big sticks. He's enjoying that goal. That's five in a row for Hawthorne. 26 points the difference. Winning it was McAvoy. He gains possession. Rowan over the top. 50 metres out. He decides to go for home. Strong mark in the contest. The kick from Hardwick. Scully wins the ball in the air. Elects to kick. Men a goal against the lead. You're right, Hano. He's gone missing lately. His first possession. Geelong now only trail by 25. Burgoyne doesn't take the mark. Going for goal number two. He has to hold on to those. The umpire calls for the ball now. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Hardwick picks up the loose ball. The ball ends up going to ground. Intercepted. Jenkins is blowing hard after that effort. Fans off the tackler. Sinks the slipper into it. Ablett controlling the airways on this occasion. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. What a goal! Ablett enjoying that goal. Back in the middle now. Swatson. Mitchell uses the bump. Chose to kick it. Good bodywork to win the mark. Gunston pops to play on. Got boot to ball. The ball finds Bruce. Big kick required from this distance. Decides to kick. Guthrie takes the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Cawthorn forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. A chance to reload the attack now. Gunston with a spearing kick. Burgoyne leaps over the top. Moves it by foot. Off hands. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Stanley clears the contest. Just got the hands in the back there. 
Ablett puts it on the boot. Wingard cuts it off. Warple going for number one. No issues with that drop pass. Celebrating hard. Hawthorne beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 38 to 13. Stanley thumped it clear. Hawkins with a clean collect. Hartley collects it. We'll get a stoppage. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Stanley thumps it forward. Lobs the handball at full stride. Receives the handball. Well taken at ground level. Fiopolo with a chance to light things up. Pretty happy with that one. The Hawks by 31. About to resume hostilities. Big thump from Jenkins. Slams it onto the boot. Just gets it onto the boot. Stuck the bits out there and held onto it. Fogarty knows they desperately need this one. Can he deliver? Gets some reward for his efforts. Geelong close the gap to 25. About to resume play. Thrashes it. Doing well was Ablett. Ablett won himself a free. He spears the ball. Taylor hangs on to that one. Goes by foot. Duncan gets on the end of this. Hawthorne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't... Winning the ball in the air was Segler. How did you see the second term, Gaz? Hawthorne have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. What do you make of it all, Gaz? The Hawks are allowing the opposition some time on the out. A big second half about to begin. Umpire ready to resume play. McAvoy gets onto the ball. Showed good control. Duncan just threw it. He drives it. Stewart presents and takes the mark. Goes by foot. Stanley looking to track down the footy. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Controlled well off the bounce. Had plenty of the ball. Putting his skills on display. Considering the options on the kicky. Gets the loose ball. Stratton throws the ball away. Going for goal number one. Managed to get a hand to that one. Geelong behind by 23. Searching for a teammate. Cleanly picked up. Harper thanks to Lee. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Hawthorne for allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Elected to play on. Mitchell moves it by hand, and now they're away. Use the hands and gives away the free. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Ablett drives the kick. Good body work to win the mark. Uses it by foot, gets into a good position to take it. Is in his possession. They can link up now. Frawley couldn't keep his hands on it. I haven't seen him for a while, guys. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball. Huh? Weighing up the options now. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Decides to kick. A big contested grab. The mark is taken by Smith. Chose to kick it. 
O'Brien with a short hand pass. Oh, what about that? That was really special. The envelope gets number two. That pushes the lead further out. His teammates rush over. Hammers it. He's got the football now. Duncan brings it out of the pack. Parfit was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Got boot to ball. Menegola leading the race to the loose ball. Stratton, hurried kick. Collects the loose ball. Ball gets cut off. Has a runner alongside him. Gets a quick kick away. Wins the race to the ball. Stewart rushes with the kick. Selwood found a way to mark that one. Hawthorne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside field. Stephen kicks it. A chance to gather the ball. Scully gurns a free kick. Sweeping handball. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Menegola powers through the tackle. Marking in space for soccer two. Going for goal number one. That goal is a cracker. He celebrates hard after that. Geelong now only trailed by 22. Back in the middle to resume play. McAvoy thrashes it. Clean from the half volley. And the umpire will ball it up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Picking it up was Nash Hamballs. He gets his hands on the footy. Hawkins making his way onto the field. The umpire will ball it up. McAvoy hurls it away. Warple scoops it up. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. They increase their lead. Smiles all round. Hawthorne cleats Geelong by 28. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. The Hawks are leading the contested ball numbers. It's always the starting point for a coach to find how well they attack the contest. McAvoy struggling to run at the moment. Goes wide from behind. Hawthorne with the ascendancy over Geelong, leading 57 to 28. Shields uses the body well. Not sure if he has the journey from here. A 45-degree angle for this shot at goal. Going for goal number three. Henry failing to get near it. Goes. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Looking to bring it back into play. Henderson plays it to himself. Henderson just threw it. Stratton looks to build some momentum with this kick. Well within range from here. Can he put it through? He delivers with a drop back. Congratulated by his teammates. The Hawks lead is now 36. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. He wins possession. O'Brien dug out the loose ball. Smith was taken high in the tackle. Pumps the ball long. Stewart determined to reach the ball. Taylor puts on a bump, applies a bump, manages to get a handle up. Hands that ball to the opposition. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's just not enough effort out there at the minute. Turned it over. Going for goal number one. Sends it home. He loved that one. Hawthorne lead by 42. Back with another centre bounce. Jenkins guides it down. Scoops up the ball. Dug out the loose ball. Handball's under pressure. Taylor comes away with the ball. Finds his man. He's got the footy in his hands. Going for goal number one. Chalk a goal up for Geelong. Important kick here. And it goes through. Hawkins loves that goal. Margin in a really tricky situation. The game is back underway. 
Punched away. He has the ball. Links with hands. O'Brien links up with a chance to run. Marked by Morrison. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. 45 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. And the chance at goal is taken by Hawthorne. Look at him. He really Geelong with a lot to think about. They trail by 42. The Hawks will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Both sides finding plenty of scoring opportunities that term. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Geelong can't get their hands to the footy if they can win more of the ball than they can get back into this one. Thanks, Gary. One quarter of footy to go. Oh, they've got to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Clears the contest. With the ball now. The ball in the hands of Dangerfield. Goes for territory. Picked off the deck. The fans hoping this one goes through to give them a glimmer of hope. Jenkins couldn't snaffle it. Dangerfield love kicking that one. Geelong behind by 36. That's a really good team goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. The Cats need to find the ball more. If they can get their hands on the ball, then they can start to create some chances. Releases the handball. Uses a short handball. A loose ball scooped up. Selwood going for number one. Crawley takes a strong mark, goes with the kick. Scully takes the mark, uncontested. Taken well at ground level by Stratton. Stanley didn't mark it. That tackle just too high. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. Time to celebrate, and don't they get around half it. Geelong have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Geelong close the gap to 30, gathered by Dangerfield. A great defensive effort. Charges with intent. Henderson giving away the free kick. He drives it. Guthrie with an easy mark. Puts good to ball. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Selwood drives the kick. The bounce made it tough. A must-kick goal here. Fogarty gets a reward for effort with that kick. They get around him after that effort. Geelong could kick the last three goals. Geelong produced the margin. Thrashes it. He flicks it over. Selwood just gets it onto the boot. Frost takes the mark. Elects to kick. Hardwick has it. Looks up with the kick. The mark has been taken. Colin Jasny keeps that one low. Sicily wins it back. Warple can link up through hands. Takes possession. Theophilo onto the ball. Terrific mark there. 35 metres out. No angle to worry about for Nash. They can take the sting right out of the game. Can he put it through? The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. This kick stretches the lead. He acknowledges the crowd. Back in the middle now. Thumps it clear. Has it now. Burgoyne on the ball. Taking a nice grab. Goal scoring opportunity for Gunston. Doesn't waste any time. Drives the kick hard. 
does well to cut off the kick. Hawthorne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Menegola couldn't dispose of it properly. Laying a strong tackle. Fantastic tackle. Burgoyne elects to kick. He couldn't hang on. Picks it up. Jenkins clears the ball from the contest. Stephen did well to win that ball. Menegola collects the loose ball. He gains possession. He gets his hands on the footy. Mitchell just releases the handball. This is Segler. He drives it towards goal. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. No doubt about it. Look at them celebrate that effort. That's two in a row for the Hawks. Hawthorne by six goals. He's got the footy in his hands. Now we'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Puts it into space. Menegola keeps coming. It's a turnover. He has the ball. Henderson won himself a free. Hacks it forward. Wingard runs after the ball. Releases the handball. He can take off after that handball. Hawkins grabbed it clean. Taken by Hartley. Can't take the mark. Gathers it now. Ablett, short by hand. Finds himself in space and marks. Advances now. At full stride, receives the handball. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Intervening brilliantly was Harford. Frost releases the ball. Missed opportunity with a handball. And now we'll have a ball up. Stanley won the hit out. Just gets a boot to it. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Releases by hand. He wins possession. Hawkins is an absolute ball banker. Doing well to intercept that kick. Sinks the slipper into it. It's marked by Frost. Uses it across half back. Sicily takes the mark. Moves the ball by foot. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Slams it on the boot. It's a poor kick. And it hits the behind post. Thrown in now. Stanley palmed it down. Hartley got the hands free. Ball gets cut off. He gives it a ride. A good result there. And that's a goal for Geelong. Ablett keeps a cool head. And delivers. He celebrates hard after that. We're back in motion. Stanley just slaps it down. Not long to go before the end of the match. Trying to avoid everything out there. The ball mopped up. They are desperate for a goal now. Half goes cleverly off the ground and kicks the goal. He's got a couple now starting to get into this game. Look at them celebrate that effort. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. We resume hostilities. Punched away. I suspect Geelong coach will want to have a few words back in the rooms after seeing his team go down like that. Well, Gaz, how did you see that match play out? They weren't far off the mark, but they just couldn't keep their momentum together for long enough. At the end of the match, Cawthon defeated Geelong 88 to 64. That's all for today. On behalf of myself, Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.